Hey y'all, it's Georgia Peach Cooks and Creates. And today will be number two in the series of 25 Days of Ornaments. And today we are going to be making mini burlap pillows. So stay, stay tuned and I will give you everything you need for this video. Okay, so what you're going to need for today's video is some wax paper. I have some um laser cut wood letters that I got from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. You're gonna need some burlap. You're gonna need some jute, whether it be red or green. You're gonna need some cotton balls. You're gonna need your glitter, either red or green, or whatever color you want to make it. Some hot glue, some Mod Podge, and your sponge chip brush. And that is it. So let's get this one going. Okay, let's get going on this. So, I basically took my wax paper and just laid it down as a barrier for my desk so it doesn't get run. So, what we're going to do is we're going to make small ornaments. So, we just want to make them like little pillows. So, we're going to cut approximately maybe five inches. Try and get it as evened out as you possibly can that might not be five inches i have to actually go and get a ruler y'all and i'll be honest and tell you it's not in this room it should be but it's not anyway okay so i've got that all squared up what i'm going to do is i am going to be making three of these so i am going to be um cutting them to this length i'm gonna cut six and then I will be right back with you. Okay, so what I've done is I have cut my strips. And I've got six of them. I'm going to be making three pillows, as I said. And I'm going to try and get them. I've tried to get them as uniform as I can. But if not, you know, whatever. It's no big deal. We can trim them. So I'm going to set these to the side. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to take our Mod Podge. And we are going to glitter uh, the initials that you're going to be putting on your pillows. I've got a C, I've got an E, and I've got an S that I'm going to be um, glittering, modge podging and glittering, and uh, those are all the first initial, you know, first initials of our first name, or first letters of our first name, I should say. So, I had a little bit of uh, burlap dust on there so I went ahead and just kind of shook off my paper so it didn't uh, stick to it but anyway all right so we're gonna take a little bit up oh, I think we learned this yesterday I'm gonna take a little bit of this Mod Podge and I'm gonna dab it over here hope y'all can see me doing that yes you can and I think I am going to use since there's only three of us, I think I am going to use the red. So I think my green glitter and my green jute will go ahead and be pushed off to the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put a little Mod Podge on this. And then we're going to glitter him up. If it gets stuck on the other side, that's fine. Just flip it over. You can do both sides if you want to. One side, not a problem. So, I'm going to flip him over. Get him up out of the glue. And I am going to glitter off some red on him. And then leave that be. I'm going to do the same repeat process with my E. And 
going to move him out of that little pile over there. Put him up here. Actually, I'm going to put him up here. And put some glitter over here on him. Last one. I've got an S. All right. And take my S. And this is going to show you that I'm just doing the front side. I'm not doing the back side of this. And it's okay. So I'm going to remove this. And I am going to put it off to the side over here. And then I'm going to take my S. Put him over here. Put some glitter on him. Now, I'm going to let this dry for just a few minutes off to the side. Now, being that there's glue on the back of these, I know that I can't let it sit for too long because obviously what's going to end up happening is I am going to be sticking it to the, sticking, uh, sticking the wet side of it to the Mod Podge. So, I've got to be able to uh, get these up off the paper real quick. And as you can see here, I'm just kind of dusting it around to make sure that everything has been glittered and everything it looks like has been glittered. So, I'm going to set this off to the side. And we are going to begin work on our pillows. So, this is why it's kind of important to have them as close as possible because you're going to be gluing, hot gluing together all four sides. And then you're going to be putting your letter in the middle and you're going to be putting your jute up on the top up here. So, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and trim. If there's anything to trim. And on this one, I think I'm pretty close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hot glue. I'm going to run it down one side. And close him up. And I realize, y'all, that I am working on my wood table. So what I'm going to do is pick him up and just gently tap him. Realizing that hot glue burns. So then we're going to go on our next side over here. Alright, now... We need to place our hanger, so we're going to get to this side right here, and we are going to, actually, I am going to do it at the very top of this corner right here, so I'm going to get my third side glued up. Okay, so now we have a pocket. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to take those cotton balls and we are going to make, we are going to make cotton balls fit into our little pillows. Use as many, use as little as you want. Make it fluffy, make it not fluffy. All up to you. And I know I keep going out of frame and I apologize for that. So, 
I think that I have enough in there for my little pillow. So what I want to do is I want to cut a piece of jute that is going to give me a hanger. Obviously I don't want it that big. So what I'll do is I'll start off on this side over here, make a dot that's large enough to seal it, plus put our jute string in there. And then you're going to want to close him up, but make sure that your string is to the side. Okay. Let him dry for a few minutes, or a few seconds. And then you're going to take however much as you need, as you think. And I think that should be a good, I think that should be a good hanger right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and snip him right there. And I am going to put my big dot of glue right there. Hang on, doesn't want to stay up. Alright. And then I am going to attach. Glue is hot, remember. <laughs> so I'm going to take and then I'm going to go ahead. And place him down. Now what I'm going to do, if I, I was noticing, remove any loose strings, that I have a pocket that did not close all the way over. So what I want to do is go ahead and reattach him over here. Make sure that he's sealed up. That way he doesn't come apart. Okay. So now, you got your little pillow. Let's get the top glued off. We're going to run a bead of glue right on the top right here. And I think yep, yeah, that one got attached to the actual cock ball, so I'm gonna have to glue to the other side. So be mindful of how far you put your cotton balls up. So that way you wanna get it right on the line. There we go. And you're just going to squeeze him together. And hold him for a minute or two. And now you have your pillow. Now, this is raw edged. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to look for some red I could take and line this out with red jute all the way around. I could find some ribbon, which is what I think I'm going to do. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my letter. because I don't want a letter attached to my paper. So, we are going to 
Just use some hot glue on this right here. And put our initial right there in the middle. And that's what you've got. Alright, so in my stash I have found some clear ribbon and I am going to take that and I am going to line the edges. I'm going to cut them at an angle. For the edge. Excuse me, y'all. My cat's won't melt, so what I should say. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and line this all the way around. Thank you. Flip him over. Ah. And line him on the bottom. And then we'll continue all the way around. When I get done, I will be back to show you what I've come up with. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the smart way to do this. How to put these on at the bottom. Because, as you can see, I didn't do such a good job. So, best way to do this is to lay, and this should have been obvious, and I don't know why I didn't do this, but measure... Flip your ribbon up, glue on your pillow, and then put yours down. Trust me, this is the easiest way. And then continue all the way around. I know these are simple, but you know what? That's what I was shooting for was simple. You can add as much or as little. In other words, you don't even have to do this glitter ribbon that I'm doing. <clears throat> but it just doesn't look, it looks just not so bare in my opinion. I like it. I'm not sure exactly when I came up with this. I've had this in my mind for quite a while now. And I think they came out really cute. What do y'all think? Alright. I just wanted to show you the proper way on how to do this because learn from my mistakes. That's what happens. Oh, and by the way, as far as the um, lining up of the edges of the pillow, you know, it really doesn't make a difference. I mean, you're going to pull like this and have strings, and it's going to come loose. And Burlap is not even the best burlap will cut and fray. So, at the point where I try and tell you to, you know, to make it as evenly possible as you can get it that's the only reason is just so 
your lines look good on your pillow, but it really doesn't matter. It really, really, really doesn't matter. All right. And that is three pillows. See, and I'm still touching hot glue over here. Goodness me, I'll never learn. All right, so that is three pillows finished. This one piece is still not dry yet. So, here's the E. Here's the S. And here is the C. All finished and done. I'm going to move y'all over here. I hope this was an informative tutorial. It's so simple. And it's just easy. I'm in my <laughs> bedroom filming this evening. Usually I'm out in the living room at the big kitchen table where I've got more room. Which is probably where I should have done it. So, anyway. Y'all have a great evening. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe. And remember, I haven't been telling you guys this. Go ahead and um, hit that bell to let, you, uh, to let you know that I've uploaded a video. That way you know when my uh, next days uh, in the Christmas series are coming uh, for the ornaments. So I hope you all have a great evening and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.